Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we are gonna mix ourselves some French martini. <laughs> So this is another video in the series of videos about martinis that aren't martini. The French martini is a simple cocktail made with uh, vodka, which is not in the original martini, pineapple juice, also not in the martini, and uh, raspberry liqueur, also not in the martini. But it's just served in a V-shaped glass, and so let's give it a try. Let's start by juicing some fresh pineapple juice. I think we are on the right track. 45 milliliters of pineapple juice. And well, let's go on with 15 milliliters of creme de framboise. The traditional liqueur used for this is the Chambord, which is a raspberry and blackberry liqueur. I don't have Chambord, but I have this framboise creme de, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna stick to this. I'm not gonna buy one more raspberry liqueur. Come on. And then we go with 60 milliliters of uh, vodka. I'm gonna use this Santori, which is a pretty good product. I tried in the vodka video and uh, it's the most neutral vodka I ever tried. Really plain. Let's get some ice. Let's give it a shake. Let's double strain in our cocktail glass. I have this uh, cocktail glass which is bigger than the one I usually use for martini because even the proportions are not the normal ones that a martini will there. there you go, let's decorate a bit. with a bit of a pineapple and uh, there you go, a, a French martini Cheers It is so cheesy I mean it's really sweet It's kind of pleasant but in my book it's one of the laziest cocktail you can make I mean, it's juice and vodka. That's it. Not much of a complex thing. Just sweet. And it's sweet. Sweet and alcohol. Nothing more. I mean, it's not awful, but it's really not my drink. Also the vodka. Not my cup of tea. Can we do something to improve uh, this cocktail? Because I mean, the combination of pineapple and uh, raspberry liqueur, it's not stupid. It's good, it tastes good. Maybe we can do something to improve it. And maybe to make it look a bit more like a martini. So let me get a few ingredients. So what I would like to do, I'm gonna start this cocktail with equal parts. Pineapple juice, 15 milliliters. And I'm gonna go on with 15 milliliters of uh, our creme de frambrouze. Then I'm gonna introduce some vermouth so that this is gonna be more of a martini. And I'm gonna put the Coque Americano, which is a floral vermouth. 
which I really like. Not too serious, but really good. And now I'm gonna give it a taste and let's see where we are landing on the flavor profile. Pretty good in my book. So let's just finish with some uh, Citadel Jean de France. This is a French Jean which I find to be really citrusy and besides that it's pretty dry and classic. How much should we do? Let's do 50 milliliters of this Jean. I came out kind of 60. Let's say 55 milliliters. Let's get some ice. Give this a shake. Let's double strain our cocktail glass. Let's decorate again with a piece of pineapple. And here you go. A French martini that's actually more of a martini. Difference called a Francophile, Francophile martini. I didn't follow this recipe exactly, but you get the idea. Cheers. This is definitely more uh, of a cocktail I would like to drink. It's a bit drier. It still has the fruity essence, a lot actually. It's still really fruity. But it's a way better drink. Also the gin doesn't uh, hit you the same way the vodka does, which is just like dry and uh, cold and uh, unpleasant like. This gin is uh, citrusy and is kind of okay in my book. Don't use it much, but it seems the right fit in this drink, which is a good drink. Mm. This pineapple is just perfect. Ripe, the right amount. So why I will definitely give a thumb down to the classic French martini, a slight variation by adding like some uh, driver move, in this case the Coque Americano, and some uh, gin instead of vodka make it a pretty decent drink, which I wouldn't mind drink at a party. A party. When was the last time I've been to a party? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, maybe and do whatever you want. Shake yourself a drink and I will see you next time. Cheers.